Welcome to The Metal Prognosis, my name is Lee. Now in today's video, we are looking at The Metal Head by Joyo for the second time. Now the first time I did this, uh, we looked at it through The Solid Studio by Nuex, and it sounded decent. It definitely didn't sound bad, but I felt like I was missing something. So what I thought would be cool is, let's attack it again. But this time, uh, I've got my bandmates uh, amp head here, the Kraken. Let's chuck it through the effects loop of the Kraken and then through the load box here to capture the sound and see if we pull out better uh, characteristics of what this pedal has to offer. So let's start plugging stuff in and start having some fun and see how the metal head is going to sound this time around. Now I have everything set up ready to go. I've added a noise killer here just in case, because I know uh, in the past when I've added stuff in the effects loop, sometimes it can get a little bit too hot and a little bit too noisy. So to play it safe, we'll have it there. We might not need it, we might. And this is the sound that I have. which is boring and bland. We want something cooler. So, pop that open. Now I've got all the settings as they were before, so let's just put the drive all the way down, keep it about 12 o'clock, and let's see what we get. Not much. Get a lot of his coming through, so yeah, dial that in. It's not the best, but we'll tweak a little bit as we go. Still not sold on it. So we've got no uh, low end here. So I don't know if altering the mids and the highs also shape the bottom end too. I don't know. So let's just muck around with the mid first and just see how it reacts. I don't like how that reacts. Let's try with the highs. Oh, that takes it into fuzzy territory. Yeah, as soon as you max that, you just lose uh, all that nice dynamicness that it can give and just makes it sound super, super cheap. So... This is the crap setting. No one is ever gonna dial it in and play like that. Let's muck around with the drive a little bit. Because without it, it's 
So it definitely gives a little bit of a boost. Not much, but a little. Let's just crank it just to see. A lot of noise is coming through because it's going, it's even. Let's turn this off and just see. So brace yourselves. Dial that back because it doesn't sound that crash hot anyway. <laughs> Not feeling it. doesn't quite have that aggression and that bite to it. Nah, still, still not quite, I don't know, it's just missing something. And there's not much I can really dial in or muck around with it much more, uh, as in with the current setup that we've got running right now. So let's do a jam. Let's see if it sounds a little bit better if we double up on the guitars, add drums and some bass, and then uh, we'll have a chat about it on the other side. Sit back, relax, enjoy the song, and we'll have a chat about it. Uh, on the other side. So, time for some final thoughts on the Metalhead uh, by Joyo. 
So firstly, um, I didn't like the EQ spectrums on how they kind of uh, shaped as characteristics. I felt like they're a little bit, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to really describe it. Oh, I'm gonna have to try to figure it away because that's what this part of the video is about. I think the lack of low end uh, being able to alter it in any way just made everything sound too dry. And especially when we push uh, the highs, or the treble, it became real fuzzy real quickly. And it, it just lacked that nice dynamic that you need in a guitar tone. Uh, I feel like you need a guitar tone, what I prefer, I think I should say. Um, uh, the distortion, decent. Actually, I'll just do an overall summary instead of going through all of it. It's not bad, but it's def definitely not for me and definitely can't get the type of sounds and aggression and kind of that brutal cut through that I love in my guitar tone. I felt like this is either just a little bit too weak or a little bit too fuzzy. Uh, and in saying that, the hair on me, which is not surprising considering I've got long hair, is it made a lot of noise, so we definitely needed uh, a noise killer or something uh, of that nature to help control the sound because it did get out of control pretty quickly. Um, and you'd probably want something a little bit more hardcore than uh, this one here that I've got. Not that there's anything wrong with this one, but there was that much hiss coming through, you'd want to really control it going before and afterwards as well. As in something like the Zool where um, it it identifies when you actually make sound out of your guitar on when to open and close the gate uh, of the noise suppressor. So you'd probably want something more like that to help control it because as you could hear with this, as soon as I took my hands off the strings, it started making a hell of a lot of noise even with this. And if I turn this up a little bit more, uh, it would just cut the sound out fully or to a point where it's unlistenable. And that's not what we want, that's not what we're here. So, the Metal Head by Joyo. Still not a big fan, even though we went through the effects loop of this uh, Kraken amp here. Um, so, as I stated before, it's not bad, but it's just nowhere near wow, and I just, yeah, not a fan of the lack of options that you've got in the EQ spectrum to be able to dial in something um, that's got a bit of grunt and a bit of um, backbone to it. It just didn't give me that uh, option and that um, opportunity. <laughs> so that's the second attempt with this. The first one, I wasn't that crash hot on it because I thought I was missing out on something. I thought there was something wrong with uh, my setup or the best way to try to do it. So now I've tried three different attempts uh, or three different angles, I should say, of doing it. I've done it in the front of the amp, through the effects loop, and through the, uh, I don't have it in arm's reach, but my new X Solar Studio, which uh, has shown some amazing results uh, putting other distortion and overdrive pedals through it. So that's three strikes. Now, if you really like this, no problem at all. That's amazing. I hope if you do have it, or you're thinking about getting it, it's gonna make you extremely happy. Please, please, please do. I'm not endorsed by jo Joyo. Um, I'm not getting paid anything for this, but, it is definitely important that you make yourself happy on what works for you. Just because it doesn't work for me or other people out there doesn't mean it can't be the best thing for you. So there you go. There is another attempt of the Metalhead by Joe. What were your thoughts on how I put it together and how I did it? How did you feel in the actual mix? Um, adding a second guitar and uh, bass and drums to it all. Uh, also, I will say for a bit of transparency before I forget and do my sign off, is running through the load box really cool to help control the sound because I'm doing this on a school night uh, and you don't want to annoy the neighbours on a school night. Really on any night, but especially on a school night. And I had my Roman IR uh, cabinet simulators uh, running as well, which I love using because uh, they are brilliant. And I really feel like they have some amazing dynamics in it and low end. And yeah, so it kind of emphasises more the lack of bottom end and backbone that this actually has, because with those, um, with that IR pack, Roman's IR pack, uh, by Coffee Audio, with other pedals, I've kind of had to dial back the bass a bit, because normally it's really uh, bottom rich. Not in an uncomfortable way, but in a way where 
normally I need to work with. With this one, um, this one didn't let those frequencies breathe much whatsoever. Uh, at least with this setup and this uh, video that I'm doing here. But yes, definitely keen for your thoughts and how you thought about how it all went. And if you have tried this and done something different to get different results, definitely keen to hear it. Um, so I'll do my usual sign off now. Whether this video is in the foreground or the background, I absolutely appreciate your company and really, really look forward to chatting with you next time. And until next time, please stay safe.